The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi power plant poured a boric acid solution into the crippled number two reactor for one hour from shortly before 3 a.m. on Wednesday. The move followed the detection of a radioactive substance, xenon, in the reactor's containment vessel, indicating that nuclear fission may have resumed. Last Friday, Tokyo Electric Power began operating equipment to remove radioactive substances from the number two reactor. The device sucks out gas from the containment vessel and filters out radioactive materials. The company has been analyzing the types of radioactive substances and their density near the outlet of the device. On Tuesday, TEPCO detected xenon-133 and xenon-135, substances that are produced during the nuclear fission of uranium-235. The company says the half-life of xenon-133 is five days, and the possibility of nuclear fission inside the reactor cannot be excluded. TEPCO says even if nuclear fission has resumed, it should be on a small scale, as there have been no major changes in the temperature or pressure of the reactor or radiation levels at monitoring posts around the compound. The government's Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency says it's unlikely that nuclear fuel has begun melting again, as the density of the xenon is low and the reactor temperatures have not changed. A nuclear energy expert says the presence of radioactive xenon in the number two reactor means that localized and temporary fission could still occur. Professor Koji Okamoto of the University of Tokyo Graduate School says substances from melted fuel are probably scattered around and are unlikely to undergo fission. But he says that neutrons from radioactive materials could react with uranium fuel or other substances, possibly leading to localized and temporary fission. But Okamoto says a self-sustaining chain reaction that creates criticality is unlikely since vast amounts of boric acid have been poured into the reactor. He says the neutrons must be closely monitored to make sure fission does not take place. The professor also referred to a plan by the government and TEPCO to achieve a cold shutdown of the reactors by the end of the year. He says that if fission reactions are not under control, it would not be a cold shutdown. Okamoto says TEPCO must locate the melted fuel inside and outside the reactor and work to prevent further reactions.